Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna give you 10 items that are, I think, must-haves for kayaking and kayak fishing. Um, these 10 items are what I think, and um, you can add to them or take away, but here we go. But first, most importantly, when you go kayaking or kayak fishing, you wanna make sure you got your kayak, safety vest, and your fishing poles if you're gonna fish. Those are three things that I always have together. Um, other than that, these are my list. The first on the list will be foot gear. Foot gear, I think, is very important when kayaking, especially in um, winter time or when it's cold. I like these. These are Magellans. I'll put the link to these in the description. They've held up pretty good. I've tried the NRS ones. They didn't last very long. I do a lot of wade fishing too while I'm kayaking and pulling my kayak. Anybody that knows kayaking, you know you pull your kayak a lot too. These are good. They're neoprene. They're not waterproof. But um, they are in the cooler weather. They will keep your feet nice and warm. The other ones I got are my Sims wading boot or wading shoe. These are nice. These are real nice. But um, I put probably 400 miles on these things. I'll say 400, probably 200 miles. Um, and they're still held up really good through the rocks and everything. The water drains out of them real easy. They're not real, real heavy at all. They've got a good non-slick Vibram sole. So, first on the list, I think, is foot gear. I think foot gear is, is, will make or break a day sometimes. Next is personal hygiene. When I mean personal hygiene, I don't mean your toothbrush and stuff like that, but what I do mean is some toilet paper or baby wipes. This right here has saved me multiple times because you might not think, but when you get out there for eight hours, 10 hour trip, you're gonna wish you had some toilet paper because wiping with leaves is old school. Number three on my list is rain gear. Now I've never had to use this. This is just a poncho. I've got my other rain gear in my dad's boat. So um, it's, um, it's a nice pair of rain gear. So I kind of keep it in there for whenever we're fishing tournaments. And um, rain gear on a kayak is I don't think it's that important, but I think it's handy to have a little something like this um, for when you're out there and it starts raining. And um, you know, rain can make you miserable. And if you can just keep that little bit of miserable off of you, sometimes you'll have a really good time. Fourth is lighting. When you're out there early in the mornings, you always wanna have lighting. Whether it be, you know, a headlamp. I've got a smaller rechargeable one. This one's a cheap one off Amazon. This one's a cheap one from Walmart. It's rechargeable. I'm a firm believer of rechargeables. This one is one that I, it's a mag light. Just a small little light. I found it beside a boat ramp one time on a boat tournament in North Fork. And um, I really like that light. Somebody's missing a good light. Um, <laughs> Also, you got to remember if you do tournaments and stuff, it's one of the requirements is to have a light that stands up, you know, where you can be seen in a flag. That way, early in the mornings or even late at night or even midnight, you have a light out there. I do not have one of them yet. I've been wanting to get one. Um, so just remember that lighting is important. It might not be that important to where you have to keep it really handy, but it's important to have, I think. Next is waterproof storage, which I think is one of the most important when kayaking because you're gonna fall and you're gonna go in and you're gonna drop stuff. And um, what I mean by waterproof storage, I mean, you know, bags, any kind of waterproof bag, especially kayaking, fishing overnight. This is from Walmart, it's fairly cheap. I can almost fit everything in here. This is what I normally put my clothes in or my sleeping bag. This is from Zim Bivy. There's all types. As long as they're waterproof, they're fine. Here's another one that I like. If you think you're gonna be out wading a little bit while you're there, this is a King's Trek waterproof backpack. I really like this. And what I like about it is if you're out wading, you can blow it up. Gotta make sure it's zipped all the way. You 
can blow it up and it'll hold air. And uh, while you're wading through deeper stuff, maybe a little bit swifter stuff and get swept away, this right here could save your life. But this is completely waterproof. I know that for a fact. It's a great one. I'll put the link to that in the description. Your phone, you know, you don't want to have your $500 or, you know, some people have $1,000 phones. You don't want them to get wet. I normally keep mine in a storage box because I'm getting it out in and out really fast for uh, taking pictures of fish for like kayaking tournaments. But these right here are cheap, like five or ten bucks at Walmart, and any box store has these. But um, you don't you don't want to lose your phone. That's one thing you don't want to lose. You can you can lose a fishing pole. You can lose you know ink pens and and a lot of things out there. But your phone, once you lose your phone. It's got a lot of your information in it that, that just doesn't sit well with you. Especially when you have to go to get a new one. Okay, next on the list is fish grips. Now, um, the reason I haven't got these until lately, these are the small pair. They have a little bit bigger pair. I think these do just fine. Somebody's out riding side to side. Um, I think these do just fine. With what uh, I catch, and I've caught uh, up to four and five pounders on these, and it's held them great. I put leashes on all of my stuff. That way, sometimes you just throw it down in the kayak, and you uh, kind of forget about them sometimes. But you'll have them leashed down to where you can know where they're at. And um, I try to keep them in my box, my kayak crate. But um, if I'm using them a lot, I'll keep them up there and kind of leash them off to me. But um, fish grips, I think, is really cool really cool little thing these float a lot of them float nowadays they're a little expensive but not so much that I think these were nine bucks but the ones at Walmart I think are 14 or 15 dollars so I went ahead and got these smaller ones next on the list is pliers you've got to have a set of pliers whether they just cheap I've had these around for years but these fishing pliers are probably the best type to get these are from Danko these are aluminum pliers they won't rust they've got a insert you can switch out when you start dulling these tips I think these are only about 25 or 30 bucks you can get a discount on some people's YouTube channels they offer discount codes I don't have one but um they offer all kinds of little cool skins for them like they're rubbery but um they've got thousands of different types of pliers all the way from you know like 20 bucks to I think they even got some in there for like 300 I don't know what you would need them for but they've got them but um I use these every single time I go out on my kayak every single time I use them I don't know what I would do without them actually I do know because I forgot them a couple times and it, it's not fun especially when you get a good hook set Next is my staple box. And what I mean by my staple box is just my boxes with everything. I put an extra battery in here, my cloth for cleaning the GoPro. Um, I've got a little tablet here with some ibuprofen in it. I've got my first aid kit that I throw in my waterproofing bag. Um, and it's just got band-aids, mainly stuff for like headaches and um, a bigger cuts. And I'm not too worried about smaller cuts. Um, it's got like some of that stop bleed in case I have a major catastrophe, but I put my GoPros in here and um, a lot of things that I don't use a lot of like right off the bat <clears throat> Next is a ruler You want to have a fish ruler the reason I say that is because Last year, or the year before that, I caught the biggest fish of my life. And um, if I wouldn't have had one built into my kayak, I wouldn't have known how long it was. This is just a cheap one from Walmart. It does inches and centimeters. It's a few dollars. And this one's the one you gotta have if you do fishing tournaments. For this, because it has your number right here. And you do your online fishing tournaments with it. Um, you can get these online. It's a catch board, catch brand board. And uh, you can get these at Walmart. Fish reeler. You won't regret it. 
one of these is what I would start with and just throw it in your pack you could throw it in your pocket a little organizer something that you won't think you'll need until you catch a big fish and then you'll wish you had it and the last is I think organization when I say organization you could have one of them backpacks like I showed you or you can do like this <laughs> this is from Walmart and it comes without the crate. You put a crate in it. And I got this on clearance last year for $26. And um, you can strap it down. I put these on there to hold my fishing poles. I put this on there to hold my GoPro. But you could really attach anything to it. Um, this has really come in handy. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. And um, I finally built one. And I was glad I did because I was tired of holding everything in a backpack. And, um, especially my poles laying down but um it does hold your poles up in the air so when you go under like tree limbs you better be hanging on to your poles and then last we've got anchor um, I don't really think an anchor is that that important but I do think a little rope is but um, an anchor you can throw out and you can stay right there. Now when I say that, I say that because sometimes you get in a mess of fish and um, especially on rivers, you seems like you're always floating toward the bank. And um, when you're casting up towards the bank and you catch a fish, you're gonna start going towards that, wherever that fish is because it will pull you. And um, once you get your fish in, you're gonna be messing with your fish you're going to be floating towards the bank or tree limbs overhanging stuff it'll they'll, sometimes they'll drag you plumb off the kayak sometimes but um and you'll be you'll be glad you had something that you could anchor down out there to where you could stay in your your spot to where you could cast over there and maybe get the mama you know if it's spawn and um you'll really be happy with that they do have these to put on your fishing poles if you don't have a, a crate to tie them down or anything um, these float it'll kind of keep the back end of your fishing rod up in the air so you can get it and grab it you might have to chase it down but you can still get it well guys that's all of the list if you like the video consider subscribing and come along with me for my adventures um, sometimes they're goofy sometimes they're serious and um, but most of all we have a good time and um, I hope to see you all there thank you bye